Hello and welcome back to Switch and Lever. The GoPro is an amazing camera for a number of reasons, but it uses its own system of mounting, which makes trouble for when you want to be more conventional and just put your GoPro on a regular tripod. Sure, you could buy a tripod adapter, but if you have access to a 3D printer and some time, why not make your own and save a few bucks? The tripod adapter will be printed in two parts, we'll get into why later, and then glued together and fitted with a quarter 20 nut at the bottom, this is the same thread as on tripods, and then a domed M5 cap nut to accept the GoPro thumb screw. The reason we're putting in proper nuts and not just printing the threads is because printed plastic threads won't last long and will strip if you happen to tension the screw just a little bit too much. So why don't we just print it as one part? Well, it has to do with the structure of a 3D print made on an FDM printer like the MakerBot. Because it extrudes plastic in layers, and the layers don't entirely fuse together to create a homogeneous model, there will be weaknesses along the layer structure. If we print the top part of the tripod adapter standing up, the layers where it interfaces with the GoPro housing would be rather short, and thus brittle to excessive force. If we instead print it laying down, we ensure that the layers are longer, and bend forces get distributed down along the layer and is therefore less likely to break the print during use. Push the model out to the printer and wait until it's done. You may need to print it out a few times, adjusting the tolerances in the model between each test print to get pieces which fits together properly and which seats the nuts well. In a perfect world we get usable pieces directly out of the printer, however in the real world we need to clean them up. Grab your X-Acto knives, files, pliers, left-handed turbo encabulators, sonic screwdrivers and whatever you may find useful to clean up your prints. There is really no magic to getting rid of the support material, just carefully pry, slice, scrape, sand, sublimate, curse and vaporize until it's all gone. Make sure you pay special attention where the two pieces fit together, where the nuts go in and where the GoPro housing will fit. Before we get to gluing, it's a good idea to rough up the nuts a bit, as it will give the glue something more to bite into than just shiny metal. Just sand whichever surfaces will have glue on them, or if you have a die grinder, it's not a bad idea to even gouge the surfaces deeper for an even better hold. For best hold, it's best to forego super glue in this application, as it tends to leave a quite brittle joint, and instead reach for the 5 minute epoxy. First prepare all your parts, and then mix together equal parts of epoxy resin and hardener according to the manufacturer's specification. Using a toothpick or a similar tool, spread a thin layer of epoxy on a tripod nut and into the space where it will fit, and then push it in. Do the same for the top and the bottom parts of the tripod adapter, putting some good gronk on it to be sure it seats all the way down. Finish with the domed cap nut, making sure not to get epoxy up inside the nut as you push it in. Leave everything to cure at least for a few hours before first use. Using the same method you can also print a thumb screw so you can both color match and not have to use the one which came with your GoPro. Just make sure you get a 45mm long M5 hex bolt and glue it in proper. When everything is done, you screw it onto your tripod, or anything supporting a quarter 20 nut, and go to town. If you want to make your own GoPro tripod adapter without having to go through modeling it yourself, you can find the links to download both the adapter and the thumb screw in the description of this video. And of course, the color choices are only limited by the plastic you have access to. While you're waiting for your new adapter print to finish, why not check out one of the other fine videos here from Switch and Lever. And while you're at it, be sure to follow the channel on Facebook and Instagram as well. Until next time!